PrimeServe operates skills, training centers, corporate and vocational training operations, recruitment and flexible staffing services. It has a market cap of 45 million rand and a price to earnings ratio of five, currently pays no dividends. Where does PrimeServe fit into the mix here and Look, who can we compare it to? It's been bumbling around on the market for years and years, but it's a micro cap. Merrick Abel is the CEO, has been forever. His family has got a significant stake in the company. It's one of those tiny market cap companies that has a massive bid offer spread. You know, it's currently trading at 35 cents, but to buy them, you'd be paying 45. Selling them, you'd be paying 28. So it's really of minimal interest. It's a forgotten little man of the of the market in a corner. Well, if only I had 45 million rand <laughs> lying around, I might buy this one and it's turn it into the education play. Earnings currently expected to be down. I think they're going to lose three cents a share for the May or March or something year end. So it's one of those companies, but then out of the blue, it can make you know 10 cents and pay seven cents a share in dividends. So again, one of those stories where sometimes you wonder why it bothers to stay listed. Could you not turn the story around? Somebody pick it up out there and, and buy it and could put be. it into a sweet spot? No, it could be. And uh, uh, coming back to what I said earlier about that whole recruitment business, you've, uh, the, the whole area, the whole industry is consolidating. And if you haven't got uh, a, a, an arrangement with a, with a foreign company, if you haven't got a very strong balance sheet, then I think you're, you're whistling in the wind, frankly. So as Paul says, I think this is one, as it currently stands, can't get excited about it, but it could get picked up in a corporate action at some point in time. Prime serve, hot or not? Yeah, it sold its uh, school's business, which is called Stanford, I think. Uh, so now it's focusing on the HR stuff that you mentioned. But uh, The recruitment side of things. Yeah, mm -hmm. they've got a business called or brand called Int HR Great. You know how those IT and training companies love those aggregate words, Int HR Great. Anyway, there we go, but I don't think it's of any interest over here, so not hot. Hot or not, Chris? Nope, not hot.